You've got to ask, how long are they entitled to have unfettered, unrestricted access to your data? The authorization lasts for one month. And under the Act, the authorization can be renewed at any time during that one month period. There is no judicial oversight at, say, three months. There's no Home Office oversight at, say, six months. I could, if I work with my mate Jim in the ambulance service, have access to your data on an unrestricted basis forever. All I would have to do is get the authorization renewed before the end of the one month. So it would be perpetual. And there is nothing in this legislation that stops that. There is no oversight. There is no... You would expect there to be a barrier, a barrier at which somebody else must have a look and see if what you're doing is an abuse. No, it's not there. So, I don't think there's anything wrong with the security services having access to my data. They can have it, there's nothing there for them to look at. But I do think that they abuse the system. They have historically abused the system, as have the Americans, as have the Russians, have as have the Europeans, the Israelis. Everybody's abused the powers that they have. This is made to be abused. There is no oversight of anything bar one section that I could find. There is no oversight. Judges are ignored, the Home Office is ignored, civil servants are ignored, even an internal review by a more senior person if say you get to three six or twelve months if you've had an investigation going for that long why do you still need unfettered access so why hasn't it got that 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 marker at which somebody else steps in and looks at what's going on and why they're doing how many times have we heard about police officers using the uh, police national computer to investigate who their wives are having an affair with or who their next door neighbour is or finding out if somebody down the street is a paedophile. How many times have we seen police officers getting fired for abusing that? that that's minor compared to what the Investigatory Powers Bill allows because it allows unfettered access to everything you do online. And it's only for a month, but it can be renewed any time in that month. And nobody, not one person, will ever step in, even in a hundred years' time, to find out why you are still renewing your monthly allowance to access to the data. It's wrong, and you should be speaking to your MP about this. So, the next section I want, well, it's two sections I want to discuss. It's section 57 and 58 of the bill. And under this, um, councils can agree a collaboration agreement between themselves. And that would allow one council to ask another council to get access to your data. So if, for example, uh, somebody doesn't like me, uh, let's say, there's a Labour Party activist who's on Perth Council and they know that I live in Manchester Centre so they want to find out a little bit about me. There is nothing that would stop that person getting a collaboration agreement with Manchester and Manchester applying for everything to do with me and why would they do that? This is section 47.7 and this sets out all of the reasons why they're allowed access to your data and it is frightening it is genuinely frightening it is so loosely worded that simply uh, being one month behind on your council tax is sufficient to allow somebody at Perth Council to ask for access via Manchester Council to get everything on me why, why would they need to do that? If Perth Council wants access to my data, why are they not applying for it? Why does it need one council to ask another council to get access to it? 
why do they not apply for it themselves? Why has the Home Secretary included in her bill the right of one council to ask another council? Who could ask another council? Who could ask another council? So we're in a position where, as I said earlier on, you could get people being blackmailed who could then make it look like somebody else and make it look like somebody else. And your data is going to go up the chain and it's going to get used and abused by the security services. There is, as far as I can see it, no reason why, in my example, Perth Council cannot go and apply for the data themselves. Why do they need to ask another council for it? That is going to be abused massively. Councillors are political. And as you saw during the May 2015 election, there are some really dirty players out there. Give them access like this, and they will have access like this. They could do the most frightening things with your private data. You should be speaking to your MP about this. Section 57 and 58 is massive abuse just waiting to happen primarily I suspect because of one incompetent morons working at a council I've worked at a council I've seen them I've been up against councils I've seen how incredulously stupid some of them are so I beg of you please speak to your MP about this the final one, and I am going to do another episode on this, but this has gone on for a little long while. I want you to have a look at section 61. I've seen nobody discussing this online. Section 61 of this bill allows a um, judicial commissioner, a judicial commissioner to make a decision as to allowing somebody to investigate journalist sources Freedom, democracy, all democracies and all free countries have always had as a, a core understanding freedom of the press. Journalist sources have always been anonymous for that reason because it underpins what a free and democratic society is. What Theresa May is doing here is allowing the Americans and the British security services to get access to data on Edward Snowden but this is going to get abused massively any journalist that has a source is now going to get targeted by section 61 of this bill and if you don't tell me that that's not an abuse I don't know what is I'm begging you go on my website read a little bit more go the link is in the description go read this bill for yourself watch the next video when it comes out next week this bill should terrify you and I am I implore you I beg you speak to your MP about this speak to your UKIP activists about this I don't care what party speak to anybody who will listen to you this is an abuse waiting to happen and it is disgusting it is worse than the Patriot Act in the US this is simply made to allow what Edward Snowden has told you has been going on that's illegal, this is going to make it legal, and that should frighten you. Anyway, that's all for this week. Thank you, and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.